students let us start solving the questions now the first question which we have here is in the figure an air lens of radii of curvature 10 cm is cut in a cylinder of glass refractive index of 1.5 the focal length and the nature of the lens is the options are as follows a 15 cm and concave b 15 cm and convex c infinity neither concave nor convex and d zero and concave Now students, to solve this sum, let us clearly see the diagram here. What indicates in the diagram is, the lens is made up of air medium, which is having a refractive index of 1 and it's placed in a surrounding medium of glass, which has a refractive index of 1.5. Now students, what we would like to tell is, the refractive index of the glass medium is greater than the refractive index of the air medium. This clearly shows that the convex lens will behave like a diverging lens or a concave lens. So here the options B and C are completely ruled out. So the options should be either A or D. But students please see that in the option D the focal length cannot be zero. So the option A is the one which is correct that is 15 centimeters and concave. Hence. The correct answer for this question is option A. Students, now let's go on to the next question which is given by a fish looking up through the water seats the outside world contained in a circular horizon. If the refractive index of water is 4 by 3 and fish is 12 cm below the surface, the radius of the circle is. The options are as given A 36 into root 7, B 36 by root 7, C 36 by root 5 and option D 4 by root 5. Students, the solution for this particular sum is straightforward which is given by the formula R is equal to H divided by root of n square minus 1. Here the depth is given as 12 centimeters and the refractive index is given as 4 by 3. So we can straight away substitute these values and find out the radius of the circle is. So that is equal to 12 divided by root of 4 by 3 the whole square minus 1 which is r is equal to 12 divided by root of 16 by 9 minus 1 which is equal to 12 into 3 divided by root 7. Therefore, finally we get the answer for r as 36 by root 7. So, the option for this particular question is option B. Therefore, the correct answer is 36 by root 7. Please make a note here. When they have given the critical angle, the radius can be found out using the formula R is equal to H into tan C. And when they have given the refractive index, we can use this particular formula that is R is equal to H divided by root of n square minus 1.
Dear students, let us move on to the next question which is given by a point object is placed at a distance of 15 centimeters in front of a glass rod having spherical end of radius of curvature 30 centimeters. The image would be formed at where the refractive index is given as 1.5. The options are option A 30 centimeters towards left, option B infinity, option C 1 centimeter towards right and option D 18 centimeters towards left. Students, let's analyze the problem in such a manner. Here, the given data is radius of curvature is 30 centimeters and the object distance is placed at 15 centimeters. So, let's apply the formula as minus n1 by u plus n2 by v is equal to n2 minus n1 by r. In this particular sum, the sign convention for object distance has to be neg taken as negative where we have a spherical surface and the object is placed at a distance of 15 centimeters. So now let us go on substituting the values minus 1 by minus 1.15 plus 1.5 by v is equal to 1.5 minus 1 divided by 30 that is nothing but 1 by 15 plus 1.5 by v which is equal to 0.5 by 30 which is equal to 1 by 60. Now let us take this term to the other side where we can write it as 1.5 by v is equal to 1 by 60 minus 1 by 15. Therefore the answer for v is given as minus 30 centimeters. Students please understand Due to the negative sign, what we can indicate is the image formed will be towards left. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question is option A that is 30 centimeters towards left. Let us move on to the next question. The greatest thickness of a plano convex glass lens appears to be 2 cm when observed normally through the plane surface and when observed through the curved surface the greatest thickness is 20 by 9 cm. If the real thickness is 3 cm then calculate the radius of curvature of the spherical surface. The options which are given are option A 20 cm option B 10 centimeters, option C 5 centimeters and option D 2.5 centimeters. Students, before we start the solution, look into the question what they have given. They have taken a plano convex glass lens. So, if we have a plano convex glass lens and they have told that the real thickness is 3 centimeters. When viewed from the plane surface, it appears to be at 2 centimeters. That is, the apparent depth is taken as 2 centimeters and the real depth is taken as 3 centimeters. From these two we can calculate the refractive index which is given by the formula n is equal to real depth by apparent depth that is 3 by 2 which is equal to 1.5. Now when we view from the spherical surface 
as they have given in the question, the thickness is 20 by 9 centimeters. Let us calculate the radius of curvature using the formula minus n1 by u plus n2 by v is equal to n2 minus n1 by r. We know the value of n1 which is taken as 1.5 and the object distance which they have given it as 3 centimeters with the sign convention we can write it as minus 3. N2 will be the refractive index of the surrounding medium which is taken as 1. Image distance is given as 20 by 9 with the sign convention of negative sign which is equal to 1 minus 1.5 divided by r. Let's simplify with further steps which can be written as 1 by 2 minus 9 by 20 which is equal to minus 0 0.5 by r which can also be written as minus 1 by 2r. Now simplifying this even more further we can write it as 10 minus 9 divided by 20 which is equal to minus 1 by 2r. So now we can write it as 1 by 20 which is equal to minus 1 by 2r or 1 by 10 is equal to minus 1 by r. Therefore r is equal to minus 10 centimeters. Hence the answer for this particular question is option B which is the radius of curvature is equal to 10 centimeters.